When it comes to brass annealing, not only is there five arguments on how it should be done, but also whether or not you should use it at all. Today, I want to tell you my thoughts on the Kneeling Made Perfect Brass Kneeler after five years of using it. I am fully aware that there will be plenty of folks out there that are simply waiting for hear their words come out of my mouth. So, if you want to get into a kneeling and you're wondering if it works great, it does. If you think it's ridiculous and it's too expensive, you're also correct. It's not for you. I get asked all the time about doing a kneeling test and I really don't know what to do with that. I'm not sure what to prove. Will it make your case last longer? Yes. Will it make your case sizing more uniform? Absolutely. Is it the most important part of your reloading process? Probably not. In fact, if you're just starting out and you're not using one of these annealers right out of the gate, I would tell you to skip it altogether until you have your process figured out completely. If you're new, you don't need to add another level of complication to your reloading process. Adding annealing later isn't going to make you have to start your load amount process all over from scratch. Another important point of clarification. If you have your process locked down and you're happy with it, that's fine. There's no reason to go and change it if you're happy with what you have. If you want to start annealing, it seems these days there are three primary ways of annealing. Flame, induction, or salt bath. The amp annealer is an induction annealer. I purchased this back at the end of 2016 and I did my very first videos on it in January 2017. I have annealed cases with this annealer certainly in the 10,000s of times. It's clearly still going strong and I have performed several updates that just make it better since it came out. Now if you buy a Mark II these days, I believe all the features that we'll talk about today are already included. Initially when you bought this, you had to go to AMP's website and you had to find annealing codes or send brass back to New Zealand to get your lot specific annealing code. I believe in May of 2018, they released Aztec mode. This is where you sacrifice one piece of brass from your lot, you run an analyze routine, and it will heat the brass to the melting point and give you a code. This allows you to find a custom code for your lot very quickly, and you'll only have to sacrifice one case to do it where you originally had to ship four. Depending on the calibers you want to kneel, you're going to need different pilots. It's very important to have the case inserted to the correct depth. Now on my Mark I, the smallest cases that I've ever annealed are down at 223 or 300 blackout, take your pick which one, all the way up to 338 Lapua. If you pick up a Mark II, I believe it goes all the way up to the 50 BMG. If you think all brass is the same, it isn't. Testing 13 samples of factory brass in 223, I had quite a bit of variation between the different manufacturers. And if you have lower quality brass, there'll be variation within that lot. Like anything else in reloading, you want to be consistent. And I think that's what you get above everything else with this annealer. The sample that I talked about, you can see in our 223 brass, the lowest value code, meaning the lowest energy needed to anneal it correctly, was a 0122, all the way up to some of the brass that was up at 0132. This is a significant difference in the amount of energy to anneal the brass. Destroying only one piece of brass on your very first setup and then being able to go very, very quickly and use that same code repeatedly just makes this system second to none in my opinion. And the longer I've owned it, the better it's got. The latest software update for this added a couple new features that I appreciate. First, the display now tells you if the piece of brass inside of it has been annealed yet. There's also a feature that you can turn on so you don't have to hit the start button every single time to anneal your case. I haven't wore out the button yet, but now I certainly will work it a lot less. It also counts how many cases you've annealed for that particular session. These may seem like small features, and maybe they are, but what other product do you own that after five years is still offering updates to your product? I did pay for the Aztec upgrade, but for any of the other additions, there's been no additional charge. If I've needed any customer service, it's been top notch. And clearly having the USB port on the side so when new features are available, you can upgrade the Neela yourself. Who knows what they'll come out with next, but it just seems to be getting better. Now, if you don't want to touch every case, you can get an amp mate, but frankly, I can do about 400 cases an hour or so manually, and that served me just fine. But if it's something you're interested in, it is available. So is annealing worth it? The amp guys have a lot of test results on their website, and if you're interested, I think you should check it out. Yes, they are selling annealers, but they are telling you why they believe this one is the best one you can get. In an interview with Lou Murtica by Eric Cortina, Lou was asked about annealing, and he said, I truly believe either anneal all the time or don't anneal at all. And anneal with this thing, referring to the amp annealer, if you're not annealing with this, don't anneal. You will be getting better groups not annealing than when you are using all that torch stuff. I leave it to you to draw your own conclusions. I'm certainly not going to tell you that torches don't work, 
but I promise this is the easiest method that I'm aware of to control and repeat. So far, since I have started using this, I haven't had one case fail with a split neck. The most common failure I see is a primer pocket giving out. One test I ran with a pretty decent charge of H4350 and 6.5 Creedmoor, I reloaded the same case 20 times, annealing every single time. No issues, we just kept going. So if you want a foolproof system to anneal cases and the price tag doesn't seem unbearable, I really don't think you'll be disappointed. If something happened to mine, I would probably get another one. If you're just starting out, put it on your list of things to pick up down the road if it makes sense. But if you're new and you want to know what tools you absolutely need to get started, check out this video series right here where I go over all the tools you need to get started reloading. And until next week, stay safe in small groups.